Yeah, yeah, what it do, what it do, man. Young Dre and this motherfucker. <clears throat> Playing this clean ass Mafia 3 for the full, you dig? Just chilling that shit right now, you know what I'm saying? Right now, just trying to get this little collectible and shit. So let's get back to it, man. Alright, go on. Damn, how the fuck did I get in there? Oh. All white girls, pretty sure every playboy in this game. <laughs> All white girls. See how this car shit works. What's this? Got concierge. Hell yeah. Try to stab Need some wheels. Burke says you're the only person we're talking to about it. Well, Burke's a fucking genius in that regard. I'll head on out to you now. Oh, this dang fastback, man. Got a car here for you. That's a big hill. Ah, oh, that motherfucker hella raw, but. Oh goodness, this motherfucker is hot. I drive better than that. Do you? Oh, pardon me. It's a granny sit talking that shit. Out. I'm sorry. Can't tap no phones without him, man. Oh, that motherfucker is hot. Out of them fire. Extortion. He must be blitzed. Oh man, you know this is a stain right here, boy. Look, just like that stain they did on a, uh, well not they, but I think it was Gion on uh, Ink Master. He uh, tattooed that old lady with her husband leaning on a fucking on the stain and shit. This is exactly how that front looks. Oh, you see the tires? Vito sent me. You're Connie, right? Yup. Connie DeMarco. Been keeping an eye on the smuggling business for Vito. Roy Thibodeau's in charge now, and it's a damn shit show. Why hasn't Greco bounced him yet? Oh, he bounced Roy right into a hole if he got to say so. Greco didn't pick Roy, and that puts a target on his back. Still, Roy's trying to sell the usual shit from out of Cuba. Cigars and rum, mostly. Hell, rumor has it they even selling medicine and shit to the Cubans. Sounds like Greco <laughs> scrambling. <laughs> Imagine Greco thought his Uncle Sal gave him a break, but no. 
So he's squeezing everyone, including Roy. Business gets any worse, Roy's gonna have to come down and see to it himself. Mind, Roy's got a few guys here and there. Might take some persuading, but I'll get him to talk. Hold of any Roy's guys yet? They're sure to talk if you, uh, ask just right. Roy's problem? He's got a pretty wife. It's how the dumb son of a bitch wound up buying a house and a car he couldn't afford. Mm-hmm. It happens all the time. It's worse when tide comes in, brings in a dreadful stomach. Can't keep his prick in his pants. <laughs> you learn too much. You're gonna see the fucking doors. It's gonna be dash. The fucking doors, man. This oh, area that wasn't so hard, was it? Now, now keep your money. Don't make me say it again. Oh, you. What do you think you're doing? Knew it. Damn it. Mm -hmm. I thought you swang of mine. Oh, damn. Almost had that shit. Loving that motherfucking. America's on its way to a race war. Communist. Yep. Fake the president's death. So sorry. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sometimes I don't know if you're smart or really fucking dumb. Is that a gun? This boy is mine. Oh, oh, I'm oh, calling the police. Did he do that, Mr. Get your ass out of here. Uh, 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 <laughs> Tell me what's going down at Rose Warehouse. The is, I let the police get the medical supplies to Cuba for extra cash. I know where the shipment is. You work for me now. Party eyes on the suspect. You got real police in coming. Be advised. It's up. I say do it and cut up on them. Keep turning and shit. And dip out on the motherfucker at one time.
You. Fuck off. Stick to the holler. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Another fucker. Ass nigga. Look at all that shit. I'm staring at shit, man. That I holla at the other Negro. Fucking bastard. Yeah, young Jay and his bitch signing off. Boom.